It's very personal, actually, for TEDx organizers to really take a deep dive into what's important to a local community. The challenging thing is that typically they feel the pressures of corporate entities who say, what I want is my logo here and I'll be willing to pay for it. The thing that's really changed over time is really educating TEDx organizers on new ways to think about how to engage with corporations. It's not necessarily give us money so that we can showcase your brand. We want you to come and tell us what you're doing, where you want to go as a company. Setting up the strategy around what your needs are, and then once you have those pillars in place, begin to think about what are the kinds of companies that would fit best for the theme or the thing that you're going to be talking about. Corporations have a group of people who want to help make sure that the executives that work in a corporation have access to interesting knowledge, their leadership and learn, their learning area. There's a way to talk to them about a partnership, which is about engaging those people in the TED community. By partnering with the TEDx, it's a way to show their 20-somethings, that they're just hiring, that they have great values. There are several ways partners can help to put on a TEDx. For one, there's pure infrastructure needs, the theater, the production. And so to really think about who within your community is invested in those assets. It's basic things, the things that you need to run the event. Our sponsorship proposal is actually services. We literally say, what is it that we do not have to pay for? that we can go to a company and say, you are a production house, come and film our event and showcase your amazing technology, edit our talks, then we will give you credit. And from that, you will get business somewhere else. A good TED partnership activation is one that asks a question or shows us something that is future facing that we haven't seen before. Austin cultivates actively the creative class. They are looking for those folks who are designing the future. How do we get those folks to have the convergence of ideas? How do we bring them together so that they're aligning themselves and working together? And a lot of it is helping to facilitate some really interesting partnerships and alliances. Coming off the main stage is such a powerful opportunity to engage. So what is your connect and convene strategy? Is it a community lunch that you can do together? A innovation lab where people can showcase future facing things? The kind of return on investment is different when you're talking to someone who's an influential, who has a big network, versus just counting how many bodies were there. TED is an influencer strategy, and it has a different set of metrics for its return on investment, is about impact more than it is just about mass reach. You can use social media if the brand is being the voice of a curator. We, GE, are at TED, and we are amazed by this idea. So we really do encourage all TED partners to think about how they can support the larger mission of TED to ignite curiosity, 